What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and uh, Kyle Rittenhouse has done it again. If you've noticed, I've kind of stopped posting my videos on Twitter, and I really just kind of use it a lot less lately because, well, it's a cesspool. It's a place where um, it's a time burglar, you know? Um, and I essentially only deal with, um, you know, a lot of frustration from people uh, responding to my tweets while live streaming and thinking that's a big ratio or um, just low IQ takes in general. Not from you, obviously, my viewers, but uh, from a lot of the people that would seek to take time off my schedule. Let me give you an example of how they how the Twitter mind works. I'm having uh, uh, somebody challenges me to a debate while insulting me, so obviously I don't want to do that. But they uh, will send this tweet, right? Then they'll do it while they're on their live stream, like it's a big deal. Um, and then I'll do what they do. Boy, if you use Twitter, it sure would be a shame if you left a like on this to totally destroy him and then think they won the argument. Anyway, I noticed that uh, Kyle Rittenhouse was trending again on Twitter. He really lives in the minds of these leftist lunatics um, rent-free. There are many people who still consider him, uh, like, who are still, I'll say, will still freely call him uh, terrible things. Say that he has any kind of weird issue with race, which is, you know, not true. There are still people on the internet that believe that he crossed state lines, that, uh, that believe that his mom dropped him off, that believe that the two people he defended himself from we're black. There are thousands of people that believe this. And that kind of tells you exactly what, you know, is going on. So Kyle did an interview in which he asked a few questions. And of course, Twitter is losing its mind. Kyle Rittenhouse blasts Joe Biden for not returning calls to sit down and talk. Kyle, who was acquitted last year of all charges in connection with protecting himself in Wisconsin, has slammed President Biden and mainstream media while insisting he's not what they say he is. Of course, the supreme. We saw that moron John Stewart yesterday. You know, people throw around this supremacy word far too far too easily, uh, and with no regard to like what actual like lunatics are like. Um, are there people out there who wear their bed sheets and, um, you know, think that because somebody's skin color is a different color that they're less than them? Yes, but it is a shockingly low percentage of the population and they should be mocked and, uh, ostracized for that belief. And that is my opinion. And, um, and, you know, nobody is less than you because their skin color is different or anything that they have no control over in their life. Um, uh, uh, you know, an immutable characteristic. That's just dumb. Uh, you know, you judge people by what they do and who they are. Anyway, people have been calling him this, you know, horrible name. In fact, Joe Biden himself insinuated that Kyle was one of these uh, supremacist people. Um, Kyle, who is 19, joined the Jenna Ellis Show podcast on Tuesday. Hey, Kyle, Kyle. I don't even know who, no disrespect to who Jenna Ellis is, but like, bro, like, come on my show. Like, I would love to talk to you. I'm very curious about what's going on with these lawsuits and this organization and things of that nature. Um, it's been, he says, quote, I've been all right. It's been a little difficult, difficult because all the false narratives that were put out where people called me uh, supremacist or, you know, racist and these things and those other lies. I don't know if somebody's seen one of those articles or watched one of those no news stories, uh, Kyle said. So if he's like talking to somebody in public, he has like a real fear that they believe this insanity about him. Um, and I don't blame him for, for being mad about that. And, you know, this is something that he has to overcome now. Um, he will never overcome it with a lot of people uh, in the public eye. Of course, he's been on Candace Owens' show. The Illinois native said he's afraid to go food shopping or take his dog for a walk because he might be attacked or harassed due to the false lies that were put out. I actually 100% believe that. I 100% believe that. We see 
how a lot of these like activist lunatics uh, out there will f- freely you know raise their f- hands on people because they think that they're immune to the you know the laws of everyone else, and then we see our prosecutors in in you know states like California and Oregon, New York, reinforce that by not pressing charges on people or turning them loose immediately. Um, it's sickening, uh, and I I one hundred percent believe that he has to kind of keep his head over, you know, his, uh, you know, look over his shoulder all the time. You know, it's a a billion times amplified, but like, I don't know if a lot of you know this, but like there literally was somebody who assaulted me with my back turned like a real hero, uh, because they didn't like my YouTube views. Um, you know, it didn't end well for him, but it's a real thing that happens. And I can't, and like, the uh the idea is um you know the magnitude at which kyle has to deal with is nothing compared to me just like a lowly youtuber even at the time i was much smaller now ever since that incident i'm dead serious ever since that incident anytime someone comes up to me and it doesn't happen all the time it happens a couple times a month where somebody's like hey are you that guy i am on the defensive like i keep my distance and um, I, I get, I get anxious and that's because of that. I have like literal, like PTSD from being attacked because like, I don't know now, are they coming up and you know, are they, they didn't like a video I made. So they feel like they can get, you know, they can, you know, raise their hands to me. I had somebody, um, while I was bowling last week, come over and, you know, say like, Hey, are you so-and-so? And he was a viewer and he was very, very kind and polite. Awesome dude. Awesome beard. Um, really, really cool dude. But for like the first 30 seconds or like little three seconds of every interaction like that I have now, I'm like, you know, I don't know how to a- answer it. You know, I'm like, and, and that's nuts. Um, so it's gotta be like, you know, way, way, obviously way worse for Kyle. Um, he wrote, I was attacked. Uh, I was 17. I had to defend myself. I agree. Um, he wants to have one of those chats. He wants to talk to Joe Biden, whom the teen said he wants to sue for calling him or alluding to him being, uh, you know, the supremacist supremacist while running for the white house back in September, 2020, I reached out to Joe Biden several times, crickets, nothing. Kyle said he still hasn't replied. It shows how much the man he is not just want to sit down and talk. Biden said he was angry and concerned after Kyle was cleared of all charges, but stood by the jury's findings. I ran on a promise to bring Americans together because I believe that unites us far greater than what divides us, Biden said following the verdict last November. A message seeking comment from the White House was not immediately returned. I believe, uh, you know, uh, so, but of course, that isn't enough for Twitter. Like, you see, you know, like, uh, if you, if you tweeted, uh, if you donated to Kyle's defense fund, don't tweet about the Oscars. Why? How are those two things related in any way, shape, or form? <laughs> to be honest with you, if uh, if Chris Rock had used force to defend himself there, um, I don't know that I would have disagreed with it. Now, you know, I don't know if uh, I'm not saying like, you know, maybe not to uh, the nth degree, like, but I mean, if Chris had like a... Uh, uh, a, a little uh some brass knuckles or something to equal the equal the uh playing ground I, I don't know i mean will smith is significantly larger than him he could have caused great bodily harm um it would have been obviously a stretch for him to like pull out a gat or something like that but you get what i'm saying you see now jenna ellis interviewing m words like kyle because uh you know six thousand five hundred likes of somebody calling kyle rittenhouse you know lying about him. Here's another uh, lib meltdown. Kyle Rittenhouse is whining that Biden won't return his calls. $16,000 likes. He's not 16,000 likes. He's not whining. He's simply outlining the fact that Joe Biden may, of course, Joe Biden's not going to meet with him. Of course. Kyle Rittenhouse is upset because our president of the United States of America won't take his call. Who the F does this incel M-word think he is? Knew he was a sociopath. This just proves it. Kyle Rittenhouse is surprised that President Biden doesn't want to meet with him. 
I'm surprised that Kyle is surprised. <laughs> Someone explained to me like I'm a toddler as to why the heck does the M word, see, these people keep calling him falsely, you know, feel the president of the United States should call him or have a sit down. Well, because he libeled him. He made a, a libelous statement about him. Uh, and, you know, I think an apology at minute, maybe you could say that like, hey, you know, I'm kind of busy sleeping all the time and eating ice cream. I don't have time to meet with people I've uh, slandered to 80 million followers on Twitter or whatever the case is. But you, you could at least apologize to the guy. That's what a man does. President Biden will return Kyle's calls. Add this to the many reasons I love Biden. My respect for jo President Biden just got even up. Like, all these people are living in an alternate reality where, like, Kyle, like, first of all, first and foremost, if Kyle was black and the two people chasing him were still white, they would be saying that it was self-defense. Let's be clear. Okay? Let's be clear. But because because he's white for whatever reason, they they're just they think it's okay to say this heinous stuff about him, and the mainstream media perpetuates it. So they're all part of it, you know. They're all part of it, and the fact that they he lives in their heads rent free just proves how big of an L that they took. Like they really wanted an innocent man to go to jail for the rest of his life for uh, defending himself against attackers, by the way, attackers who were awful human beings. The biggest human garbage you could think of, okay? But they're just, they're, they're so dumb that, th th you know, every, every bit, like, this is why Kyle has to succeed in life. Because his success, his living well, is going to drive these people crazy. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.